my name's Candida Tasman. I'm the research technician at the South West Dementia Brain Bank. My job is when we get a donation, I dissect the brain and prepare the tissue for the post-mortem diagnosis. And following that, we can then use the tissue for research and I prepare the tissue for the research as well. When a brain arrives at the brain bank, the first thing that I'll do is weigh it because people can lose up to a third of the weight of their brain through tissue loss in Alzheimer's. So I make a note of the weight of the brain and then I cut it in half down the middle and one half gets put into a pot of formaldehyde and that will just sit there for three weeks and that gently fixes the tissue. We don't do anything with that half of the tissue until it's fully fixed, so that will just sit there on the side. The other half gets dissected immediately. That basically involves cutting the tissue into slices and then taking the areas of tissue that I know we're going to be using for research and separating that out and putting that into different tubes and bags. That whole half of the brain will get stored at minus 80 degrees. So this is the freezer room where we keep all of our frozen samples. It's particularly useful for research because it's the type of tissue that we can use to look at different protein levels in the brain, conduct different scientific assays and look at the activity of proteins as well. When we dissect a fresh brain, we dissect it into the areas that are most of use in research and are most requested by researchers, and that's what these different colour tubes are. They represent different areas of the brain that we know are most involved in dementia. Um, we store them in this format so that when it's requested by researchers, we don't have to go back to the original tissue to defrost it. The other half of the brain, after the three weeks that it spends in formaldehyde, then gets dissected in a similar way. So I remove the hind brain, take the cerebellum off, and then those areas get cut into slices, and the main cerebrum gets cut into slices one centimetre thick. And then those slices all get laid out on the board, and once they're all laid out, I can assess any um, signs of tissue atrophy that will give us an indication of whether Alzheimer's might be present. So um, once, the, once the assessment has taken place then I can cut different areas of tissue out of the slices and these are the areas that we know will show whether different types of dementia are present. These blocks of tissue will then go into the processor which over the course of about 88 and a half hours uses a mixture of graded alcohols and chloroforms to gently draw out all of the water from the tissue and replaces that water with uh, melted paraffin wax. So the tissue has a lot more structure and those pieces of tissue will then get embedded into blocks of paraffin wax and these can then be cut on a microtome which can cut incredibly thin slices, which are um, seven micrometers thick, so seven thousandths of a millimetre. So um, what we're looking for is, is for the slice of tissue to be less than a cell thick so that we can see the cells, the individual cells under the microscope. We'll look for vascular dementia, Alzheimer's and Lewy body dementia because those are the three most common. After the diagnosis, we keep the wax blocks and we keep any tissue that we haven't used so that we can go back and make new blocks if we want to. We never dispose of any tissue, so we can always use any leftover tissue for research later on down the line. This is our formal in fixed brain store. At the moment we have 1,002 uh, donated brains within our bank. Um, once we've taken the areas and blocked those that we need for diagnosis, the remaining tissue is stored in these buckets in formalin and is here for us to use going forward. So if those blocks run out, there may be areas that we can replace them with. Uh, we may also need different areas for different types of research. So storing this tissue here allows us to come back to it for years to come.